this is probably going to be the um, hardest episode I'll ever have to do. Um, I guess formalities out of the way. Um, hi, ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube. Um, I'm Joe Atticus Inch, and uh, this is a another episode of Poet Love under the worst of circumstances. Um, many of you may have heard that a Black Lives Matter activist Bailey shot himself outside the Ohio State um, State House. His name was Marshawn, and he was one of the brightest young poets um, ever to come out of the city. I've been thinking about this the, the past couple of days. Because when I when I first when I first saw the news, um, it 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 didn't feel real. Like I was on face I was on Facebook. I saw I was getting ready to actually go to my poetry night, writing wrongs, and I see this little headline in the trending topic. So I'll stay out. I think, oh crap, what's happened? Um. And I saw under it Black Lives Matter activist fatally shoots himself outside a state house. I'm like, oh, that's that's it's absolutely terrible. And then I see the name Marshawn McCarroll. Not, not, not our Marshawn. Just a big fucking coincidence. It's... It's like when my ma told me that Gregory Hines died, and uh, I'm like, really? Because I actually had a friend named Gregory Hines, and uh, I was like, oh, the, the other Gregory Hines. So I, I click on, sorry, um, so, so I click on the link, and the first thing I see is a picture of Marshawn, um, posed from his, um, Pursuing Our Dreams, uh, movement that he started to just do, do good. I don't know how to express it. I've been thinking about this the past couple days, seeing everyone else um, share their words from Ashan. And the thing is, most of them, pretty much all of them I see, they got to know him better than I did. John was a hell of a kid. He was a hell of a kid. And you could tell that with even the most the least limit exposure you had to Marshawn, you could tell this kid was going to be something. Um, I first met Marshawn, as many people 
in the poetry community of Columbus did when he was 15 years old. He was, um, he was a student in the same program that I was in when I was in high school. And he came out to righting wrongs because this program asked you to earn points to go to local art events. And poetry is an art and we have an open mic every week and he came out and he, he kept coming out. And even from the first time you heard, I can't... I, I'm going to repeat myself this episode, and I'm gonna say a lot of shit that's already been said, but... I'm kind of furious right now. And as I get home today and the first story I fucking see on Facebook is some asshole cop saying, oh, it's a happy ending that Marshawn fucking killed himself and he gets off with a paid leave. I'm sorry, I'm fucking pissed at that right now. It's for those who didn't know Marshawn. Marshawn was He was one of the, I'm trying not to repeat myself, but I, it's been a strange complex of emotions if I can talk about myself for a moment. It's been a strange complex couple days of emotions since finding out because as I said I wasn't lucky enough to know Marshawn as many people got to know him I saw him at writing wrongs I've known him since he's he was 15 we the the only connections we had were were the poetry and the program the Christopher program that didn't matter though I saw Marshawn interact with people I I saw how he was I guess that's the thing that makes it hard too is he looked so happy Every time I saw him, he was, um, at Writing Wrongs this past Tuesday, because Marshawn became a really big part of Writing Wrongs, he was... He was a member of our 2014 uh, slam team that went to Oakland, California. And ever since Marshawn was 15, everyone had been pushing him to slam. He, we knew 
We knew that he was going to be something. He had that talent. In. I would share something with you, but I don't have the team chat book that would have had any of his poems, nor, to my recollection, did Marshawn release any any of his work on his own. Um, so I, I, I don't know what to, to say that's going to make you see him as he was with when all you know now is that final Facebook post. My demons have won. I'm sorry. He looks so happy. <sighs> and the reason Marshawn ended up on the 2014 Writing Wrongs um, team instead of earlier years where he could have easily made any of them. It was because he always had its, or so it seemed, he always had his priorities straight. He didn't come out to Writing Wrongs a lot of the time. Why? Because he had to work. He had to earn money. He had to survive. We all do that. We all have to. We all try to. I, I don't understand. I can't even say that I do. Anyone who knows me knows that I am a manic depressive who, if not for a simple twist of fate, um, would not be here right now. I... I know the feeling and I know how hard it is to not let people know Because you're afraid of what they might think. Or what they might actually do or what. Your mind, with depression, your mind is broken. At those worst possible states, your mind is broken. You don't think right. At least I didn't, and I can't believe, I won't believe Marshawn did. I... <sighs> at the tribute at Writing Wrongs on Tuesday. Um, Rachel Wiley talked about Marshawn's belief in love. Not romantic love.
but the general idea of love. And I'm sad I didn't see it. And I'm really trying not to bring this back on me. I really am not. I don't want it to sound that way. And I'm just kind of rambling here because I don't know what else to do. Everyone has said their words. I want to say mine. And this is the only way that I can think of to do it. It is absolutely wonderful to see the output of the love that Marchand believed in. Stemming from this, I just wish it didn't take this to show it. If you think like I did, like Marshawn did, please get help. It's not worth it. I learned that my way. I wish somehow Marshawn could have learned it, but there's... If you are the praying type, Please pray for Marshawn's family. Please pray for this community. Please pray that assholes get fired. Please pray that we can celebrate what someone could do in such a short time. In such a short time, Marshawn not just made a slam team, not just graduated high school, not just struggled through college. No, Marshawn fed, actually fed the hungry with his own money. He brought people together to fight for a right cause. He never tried to separate anyone he always tried to make someone look feel as good as they wanted to I don't know what else to say this is my rambling about a wonderful kid who will be greatly missed. We loved you, Marshawn. Loved you.